So my friend Matt recently purchased an old tractor. It all started with a simple carburetor rebuild, but soon descended into a complete greasy mechanical nightmare. Follow along with us as we take a deep dive into Matt's rabbit hole. All right, Matt, you asked for it. What do we got here, Matt? Huh? What oil, are we doing? Oil pump parts. For what? A 1950 Alice Chalmers WD tractor. Uh huh. Pretty much uh, stripping her down head to toe. Gotta do a full rebuild. Rebuilding a 1950 Alice Chalmers. We've got parts galore here. Man, I, a lot of TLC. <laughs> I remember when this bench used to be nothing but race car stuff. What yeah. the hell's going on in this world? Yeah. We got our uh, intake exhaust manifold. What else is down in that box? Oh, we got the rocker arm shaft, the push, push rods, rods. Yeah. the push rod cover from the side of the block. Yeah. Where, where are your lift? Where are all the lifters? The lifters are still in the block. Now we got the oil pan. Got the oil pan here. It's huh? pretty clean the way it is. Look yeah. at that flywheel. Yeah. What's that's a performance one there. That looks like it's out of the new ZR1 Corvettes, huh? What are you? This she thing about? five inches thick 40 50 pounds oh, at least. she's a beaut um but yeah she does have some some crack let's see here. if we can see it get up close and see some of that and crack yeah it's got to be oh yeah got to be turned down a little and uh need a new pressure plate and clutch assembly Here's look at the is governor's it, assembly. this is the this is the tim walls yeah this is the governor tim walls assembly okay uh, so the harder you work the more it punishes you then yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> I've been around. I've been around a time or two. Is so so uh, the faster this thing must spin off the cam gear or something. Exactly. And then these yep. weights here, the faster they spin, the more they want to centrifugal force is throwing them out, which pushes this almost like a throwout bearing up against some linkage. Yep. In that linkage, which goes to your throttle linkage. Del that's a Delco Remy distributor. It right? is. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what's in Lola darn near exactly a little yeah. different body on it but sure okay and then that's your fly or your uh Thrust, throw out bearing th throw out bearing uh you're putting a new one on there though you think yeah, yeah I okay think so. since he's got it apart this far yeah definitely. okay and then what's this dial for here that is the garage pizza oven <laughs> <laughs> the, the grandkids like Remember garage grandkids pizzas over. yeah <laughs> yeah maddie and john yeah guys what what do we got nuts and Bags All full of nuts of and bolts. Nuts and bolts, you know, from different parts of the Like, here's the governor cover and, okay. and all the fasteners. Uh huh. Um, tons of stuff S in here oil pan, push rod cover, bolts, S oil. So you have everything labeled. Flywheel, dust cover. S so you can get it back yeah. together. I mean, I'm. You don't want it to be a guessing game. I don't want it to be a guessing game. So you're over here at my shop, the old ex race car shop, yeah, building, tr re cleaning up tractor engine parts. We put a bunch of uh, parts fluid in here and cleaned it up. Got it. the old parts washer going for the first time in five years, maybe. Heck but yeah. But uh, uh, here's the clean it. Little assembly head, line of uh, cleaned parts. Head head bolts, water pump bolts. Miss. There's only two bolts in there, oh, and you're missing one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, story yeah. of our life, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The water pump was missing a bolt. Crazy. Okay. Okay. All right, Matt, how long is it going to take you to get this tractor back together? Days, months, or years? For what we've got going right now, if we only did the motor and uh, the clutch and stuff, I'd say months. Oh, yeah? But I know there's a lot more that needs to be on the tractor, so it, yeah. it might top out at a two-year project. So, yeah, for, so for you... For a guy like me, looks, yeah. you know, this is when I have extra. You were, you were just going to clean it up a bit and run it, and now, next thing you know, you're right down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Down the rabbit hole. All, right. All right, we got a whole pile of parts here cleaned up. Got a little OCD going on here <laughs> with all the parts neatly arranged and labeled. Matt's cleaning the flywheel. Sure am. We only got that and like the rocker shafts left. Right, Matt? That's right. And we're high as a kite out here <laughs> with all the parts. Low Cleaner. odor mineral spirits. Low odor. Low odor, sure. <laughs> yeah. Intake exhaust manifold cast as one piece. Kind of neat. I don't think you see that too often. What do you think, Matt? 
It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. That's right, dirty yeah. jobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Mike Rowe. That's right, Mike Rowe. Hey, Matt. Hey. Guess what time it is? Garage pizza time. Garage pizza time. Garage pizza. <laughs> Matt, I see you got all these cheat sheets here. You got all kinds of notes yeah. for, for this tractor, putting it back together, whatnot. Yeah. We got this DJ's tractor parts here. Yeah. So this is where you're gonna spend your all your money buying parts for yeah. it. You no, know, this service manual here, is this an original service manual or is this one that you bought? I, I bought that. So this is kind of an aftermarket one it, it, from the originals. It, 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 yeah, a copy of the original. But it's got all the information you need to know about this here tractor. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. I've got pretty much the same thing for Lola, all the books and my note sheets and everything. And yeah. It's kind of what you need for this old stuff. Oh, definitely. We have the rocker shaft assembly all taken apart. Everything kept in order and labeled. Matt's over here cleaning one of the rocker arms and the little standoff that holds the rocker path. Yeah. So Matt, what, uh, what's this I hear they call you the tractor whisperer? <laughs> that is, or, uh, or is that false information? That's false information. Okay. That's fake news. Fake news. Fake, fake news. news. <laughs> okay. Like alternative facts. Uh, a guy named Lem <laughs> came up with that title and it... I wish I could say I was the tractor whisperer, but uh -huh. I am no uh, mm -hmm. specialist well, at, when yeah. it comes to this. Maybe not, but you yeah. can still be the tractor whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then like I said, we got our table of parts over here. We cleaned up all the push rods yesterday, and Matt has them all labeled in order, so we make sure they mate back to where they're supposed to go. These are kind of unusual push rods for the end that hits the lifter is pretty much flat. I've never seen flat end push rods. And then the top of them where they encounter the rocker arm has a pretty, there we go, a pretty big cup, but that's not uncommon. But I'm no, I'm no engine guru. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, it's coming along. Pretty, pretty yep. well. Yep. Pretty I think surprised. she'll be she'll be running by the end of the day. Well, <laughs> maybe maybe in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely did a marathon parts cleaning last night, though. We got yeah a lot done up till midnight. It's pretty uh, satisfying to see these parts as clean as they are now, but as dirty as they were. Uh huh. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, we we're up till midnight, high as a kite from all the yeah. parts, all the parts washing. So fumes. much for that low odor of mineral spirits. Yep. Uh, could feel it <laughs> <laughs> slept like a baby last yeah. night one thing is these rocker shafts have oil pressure supplied through this small hole here and the shaft fills up and then all these small holes lubricate each individual rocker arm but at the end of the shaft the shaft is hollow they have these cork stoppers that you have, that we went and got at LM supply and we'll push them in there to the right depth and they keep the oil pressure inside the shaft but what i'm using to put them in there is my favorite personal favorite marvel mystery oil well this is marvel lubricating oil this is an extremely old can that i believe my dad got me but anyways the original formula right <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> yeah no job can be done without marvel well here's the finished product on the rocker arm shaft Got everything all cleaned, disassembled, labeled, marked, reassembled. Everything's lubricated up, works nice. I think the biggest, most important thing when you disassemble stuff like this is to mark everything and put everything back exactly how it was. Because oftentimes there's differences in things that you don't notice. And then all your wearing surfaces, you want them to mate back, to, mate back together exactly all the Lord intended. Next stop is uh, at the Tractor Whisperer's Garage. <laughs> Matt, what time is it again? Garage pizza time. Garage pizza. Garage pizza. <laughs> <laughs>
I got a little ahead of myself too. Before we go to Matt's place, we got one more thing. He wants to take the governor and distributor mechanism apart and go through it and clean it. That'll be a real hoot. Anyways, time to gobble up a garage pizza. So Matt, you got the uh, the uh, governor and distributor assembly apart. Yeah. Did you open up a can of worms? I did. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of little stuff inside there. Uh, I knew it was dirty inside. I yeah. wanted to get in there and clean it, and now I'm sure glad we opened it up because this, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably the original factory grease is just chunks floating yeah, around. That's the distributor gear inside there. Yeah. And they probably packed it with grease, I'm assuming, back in 1950. Somebody did. Yeah. A lot wow. of little pieces and parts in that little mechanism. Just. All right, next stop is... Uh, Matt's garage will take a look at the tractor itself. Well, here we are at Matt's garage. You got, hey, Matty, you got this uh, tractor stuffed in this little garage. Sure here, do. Huh? Yeah. I mean, this is, this, <laughs> this house and garage was built in 1917. Yeah. So well, it wasn't made for much more than a Model A at that. It's time. all you need. Yeah. All you I need. Mean, all you need. I've been making it work. Yeah. Yeah. That, that engine stand looks familiar, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. And well, your brother's uh, cherry picker. Yeah, actually, I think that's Mike Wilson's cherry picker that okay. we used on the race car for years and years. But nice. So this is your 1950 Alice Chalmers WD, you say? Yep. Okay. And the engine, the, the block is, block and head are out, are they, they're at Rick Mayerich's right now? Yep, they're he's, at Rick's. Okay, and, uh, he's going to help you with that, and then possibly you might have Babbage Machine do some engine machining for you? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep, block of and, and you got that all cleaned out. Inside there was just caked with grease. Oh, yeah. And you can see there's a little oil running out of the... Uh, Front seal the, of the tranny there. Yep. And you're going to try to take that nose cone off of that tranny yep. and try to fix right what seal, seal or whatever is in there. And then okay. yep, replace that seal. And then you got the... I, I love this gas tank. Yeah. It looks like the tail cone of a sprint car. It looks like a sprint car gas tank. Yeah. Makes me wonder if maybe some of the early sprint cars actually used these gas tanks on the back of them, and that's sure. how sprint cars maybe got their look. Yeah. I don't know. It's a, but, like a 15 gallon tank, believe it. Yeah, I love it. It's cute. Yeah. But and the, the seat is offset to the right a little bit. Yeah, it must be for farming so well, you can get a view of your, your rows, your driving yes. in the field. So you, yeah, so the hood isn't in your way. Mm -hmm. But. And one thing I notice on this tractor, which I really think is unique, is the rear axle here doesn't go to the center line of the rear end. Yeah. There's actually a gearbox yeah, the that drops the down to the center of the rear end mm -hmm. so that you have a lot more clearance with, yeah. with, with those axle tubes. Yeah. And that's kind of neat. Here you can see better where the axle tube, the rear axle tube, actually goes way up top inside the rim and has a gearbox down to the center of the wheel mm -hmm. but and then yeah. these look like pretty new tire you got some good rubber on here yeah got some pretty new hoosiers so uh you know yeah. the, not that's, a lot of heat cycles they'll fire up for you good that's on the re bet. you'll be fast yeah. on the restarts <laughs> right fast on the restarts with those. The but uh you know throughout the years people <laughs> with these tractors they cobble on some homemade gussets and oh, stuff yeah. and look at this dandy so there's some crude welding look at that here. gusset look at those beautiful welds yeah. huh Wow, pretty yikes, wild. yikes! But uh, and then you got the uh, narrow front end mm -hmm. with it with it positive camber front tires, mm -hmm. and then uh, over here is your clutch disc and yeah. your pressure plate. Clutch disc is pretty war. Yep, you right got, flush with the rivets. Yeah, the rivets are flush and digging into the flywheel. You can mm -hmm. see like right there. Yeah. Um, Pressure plate. The fingers. The fingers are pretty, that, pretty war they're, thin. They're really thin. And the. Uh, she's pretty greasy, grody from all the stuff yeah. leaking, but she's a heavy beast. Yeah. And she's, oh my God, that flywheel at me. I think them are the new parts for Burt Transmission. Will be coming out with those this year. Yeah. <laughs> for the yeah. race cars. There's the flywheel all cleaned up as good as we could clean yeah. it. Yeah. 
This is uh, uh, it was a monumental task cleaning all those parts. Getting it like, to this point, I huh? feel like we made a big a lot yep, of progress yep, this weekend. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, Matt. Well, uh, we'll probably check back at a later at a later date to see if the progress is here on uh, Matt's rabbit hole with uh, yeah. Alice Alice and Chalmers in Wonderland. That's right. Yeah. Man. All right. Well, signing off from the Tractor Whisperers Tractor Shop. <laughs> All right, man. See you, Matt. Yeah, take care.